Hello and welcome to NBC News. You are watching English Bulletin with me, Ratna. The news in detail. A delegation of Chamber of Association of Maharashtra Industries and Trade led by President Deepin Agrawal met collector Vimla R. At the outset, Deepin Agrawal on behalf of trading community of Nagpur welcomed Vimla R. with a floral bouquet on being appointed as collector and district magistrate for Nagpur district. Ashok Ahuja, past president of General Merchant Association introduced Kemit said that Chamber has remarkable presence in all districts of the state. It works simultaneously with the business community and government department at all levels to forge a win-win situation for all concerned. The Executive Committee of Chamber has a representation from all walks of commerce, that is, trade, industry and professionals as well, added Ahuja. Shashank Akulkarni appreciated the proactive steps taken by the government, particularly by Nagpur Collectorate, to curtain the second wave from causing large number of positive cases and casualties. The Indian Meteorological Department Nagpur has issued an orange alert as Nagpur and parts of Vidarbha are predicted to see heavy to very heavy rainfall in the next two days. Apart from Nagpur, rain is likely to batter Chandrapur and Garchola district. According to a report in a popular news channel, the IMD has issued an orange alert for Nagpur, Chandrapur and Garchola districts. The low pressure in the Bay of Bengal would cause heavy to very heavy downpour in the region. Thunderstorms Heavy downpour in thunderstorms have also been predicted in several parts of Vidarbha. Farmers have been advised to avoid farming activities and take necessary precautions for the same. Small bridge used for crossing the rivers or streams should be avoided if the water level is seen rising. The district administration has appealed to people and farmers especially to take necessary precautions. The Maharashtra State Road Development Corporation has prohibited plantation of 13 varieties of fruit trees along the Mumbai Nagpur Samriddhi Expressway as they attract wild animals that may lead to accidents, State Minister Eknath Shinde has said. This expressway is being meticulously designed to avoid disturbing animal activities in the surrounding areas. The Urban Development Minister said. Overall, 96 wildlife structures, which include 7 overpasses bridges, 89 underpasses, box culverts, and a few mid and minor bridges are being created to facilitate the passages of wild animals around the summer of the Mahamar. He said in a statement, to minimize accident by way of avoiding the entry of animals on the highway corridors, the MSRDC has prohibited planting of 13 varieties of fruit trees that attract wild animals. These trees, including mango, cashews, java palm, orange, citrus and date palms, he added. Most of the roads in Nagpur riddle with the path hole not only show the second capital in poor light but also the cause of fatal road accidents that occur every year. Data procured from NMC revealed that nearly two-thirds of the road length in the city is in a bad shape. About 64.44% of the city's cumulative 1491.19 km tar road have either been dotted with pet holes or their surfaces completely worn off due to pure construction and non-maintenance. According to NMC data, the total length of the city road is around 2313.65 km of which around 700 km of road length has been cemented while around 150 km of road come under the Kacha category. With the onset of monsoon, the road shows their ugly face as small patrols turn bigger and bigger ones turn into crater the several major and internal roads. A youth ended his life by jumping into Futala Lake in full public view on Wednesday morning. Nearby people pulled him out but it was too late. The reason behind the young man taking the drastic step should not be ascertained so far. The deceased Avinash Sandeep Walde was resident of Control Wadi. Ambedkar Nagar near Ganesh Square. On Wednesday around 9 a.m., Avinash jumped into Futala Lake in a bid to commit suicide. However, nearby people acted swiftly and pulled him out of the water. He was taken to GMCH, but doctors declared him brought dead on admission. The efforts of the people to save Avinash proved fertile. The reason behind the young man taking the extreme step could not be ascertained so far. Ambazari APS Uriyavanshi, based on information provided by Sandeep Pulchand Walde, registered a case of accidental death and launched an in-depth probe into the matter. 
Well, that's all from this bulletin. For more updates in and around the city, stay tuned with NBCN News. Till then, Ratnaka says goodbye. Please take very good care of yourself and family.